trouble in paradise on earth. Hey guys, I'm Windsor. Welcome to my creator session. Today we're going to talk about vulnerability, opening yourself up to creative possibilities by being vulnerable in your writing and creating. And we're also going to talk about mentorship, how important it is to find people that you look up to in your field. And lastly, moving from one city to another, what that's like, and being flexible, malleable to whatever challenges are thrown your way. Don't you run, don't you run from what you could become. We love all the trouble in paradise. In paradise. In this session, we welcome Jordan Topp, a gifted singer-songwriter and producer who goes by the moniker Windsor. And one of the things that I love most about him is his particularly heartfelt way of shining a light on universal experiences. Whether it's a song about losing someone that's close to you or reminiscing about your childhood bedroom, in this session, Windsor's performances will remind you of the power of vulnerability. We also discuss his process for translating personal experiences into beautiful songs, and that includes his very recent collaboration with Macklemore on the track next year. Without further ado, meet Windsor. Where did all the time go? Where did all my friends run to? I think I'll take the high road Is that what we were meant to do? Ah, yeah, yeah Finding it harder and harder To climb all the mountains in my mind in my mind I don't wanna grow up before I die Cause everything about you is hot like July I don't wanna grow up, I'd rather stay high Cause everything about you is hot like July Hot like July, ooh Cause everything about you is hot like July so give up the apartment I'll quit my job and run away I'll leave with you, my darling Cause there's no reason we should stay I, I, I am finding it harder and harder To climb all the mountains in my mind in my mind I don't wanna grow up before I die Cause everything about you is hot like July I don't wanna grow up, I'd rather stay high Cause everything about you is hot like July Hot like July, ooh Cause everything about you is hot like July Oh, hot like July mm -hmm. Hot like July I don't wanna grow up before I die Cause everything about you is hot like July I don't wanna grow up, I'd rather stay high Cause everything about you is hot like July Hot like July, ooh Cause everything about you is hot like July Ooh Cause everything about you is hot like July That's my song, July. Um, it was inspired by just the way I was feeling and where the world was at. 
um, in spring of 2020 and just the feeling of change and looking at sort of everything that I was grateful for in that moment. Um, and I think it was basically the genesis of Windsor of my solo music career was, was this song and the sounds that came about from being up in the woods of Northern California kind of percolated into the palette of the recording and the feeling and mood of the song. It was really just the initial mood of that song that kind of set me off on this journey. This next song um, is it's called Drift Away and it's about it's about my dad and I lost my dad when I was 22 so with this song I wanted to tell in every verse the um, basically it's it's about losing someone for me I connect to it because it's about each stage of of my dad's life grief the present past and future of the whole experience of grief so this one isn't released yet but it's coming out in 2022 So that one was 
inspired by a personal experience of of loss and grief but but also just remembering you know the the good times you know i feel like for me as a as an artist and a musician i try to just reflect my own personal experiences um into the songs i write but also to make them to tell stories in a way where where, where people that have experienced similar things can relate you know um so losing my my father was a really was a was definitely like a um a chapter of my life that kind of changed changed me in a lot of ways and um influenced a lot of the music I was writing and um yeah it was sort of a defining moment and that's what I try to do when I'm making music is to make it as true and personal to my own experience but told in a way where people can understand to you this guitar i'm playing right now was my dad's guitar um when he passed he left it to me and i write all my songs on it pretty much um all my songs that have acoustic guitar i record on this guitar so it's also a way for me to channel his memory and energy into the music i'm creating so yeah, it's a way that I honor him and a way that I am able to carry on his energy in the music. The way that I'm able to open up as an artist and tell these personal stories is I just, before I go back into my writing mode and edit what I'm saying, I, I literally put on the paper exactly how I'm feeling and what's happening. And then I'm able to go back and organize it. And it's sort of hard. It, it takes longer and it's harder to like open up in that way because it just, it's like, like for me, losing my dad was like, it was a traumatic experience. So putting that into a song, it's like you're reliving a past trauma. But it, the finish line of that and having a song to sing about that is like, it's, it's, um, it's healing. So, trying not to be scared to express yourself in that way it can be um hard but the reward is the healing process of making the art from that experience this song is called in my room and my room that i grew up in in santa cruz california is a very special place I used to have friends over and we'd listen to records and and get into trouble and throw parties when my parents were out of town. And my group of friends in high school, we were just really rebellious, like very, like on the surface, good kids, but at night we would get into trouble. So this song is about about that feeling of just first experiences that you have as a teenager um because i don't know when i was a teenager i just had so many formative experiences that shaped me into the person i am today so i wanted to capture that lightning in a bottle and put it into this particular song so here's in my room old with a pawn shop guitar born class clown with a tombstone shaped heart I grew up near an ocean of stoners and loners and lost boys freshman year I was five feet small not a soul in the world heard me talk But wallflowers still bloom with no one in the room Even lost boys Only you saw my 
face in my room records play underneath the sudden sun we came on Senior year, midnights at the lagoon Daria and Mason and you Never thought you'd go missing Somewhere in South Brooklyn with your friends I'm so glad you finally made it out of that two-star dark hole in the ground Was it awesome big lie that you Lived in all nine with your friends Only you saw my face In my room records play One of my hopes for Creator Sessions is to connect you with creators who inspire you to be brave and to wear your heart on your sleeve. And I have said this before, but you never know the difference you can make in someone's life just by sharing your story, your journey. And I especially love the way that Windsor put it when he said, putting that into a song, it's like you're reliving a past trauma, but the finish line of that and having a song to sing about it is healing. Trying not to be scared to express yourself in that way can be hard, but the reward is the healing process. If you're looking for the sign or permission to share your story with the world, this is it. To continue to be inspired, keep up with Windsor by following the links in the description and make sure that you subscribe for future creator sessions. This next one is called Trouble in Paradise. It's really just about uh, moving to LA and what a freaky, crazy, weird experience that was. I lived in New York before I came here and my old band started there. And then towards the end of our run as a group, we moved to LA because there was just more for us there. And we kept finding ourselves there recording and writing and creating there. Um, and we wanted to be immersed in what was happening in LA, so we we took a, a break from New York, came out here, and I just remember, again, feeling, reflecting my own experience into the process of making songs, was just looking at the city of LA and how wonderful and beautiful it is, and also feeling like, wow, this place is so different. It's such a different, like, 
hustle than New York, and everything in New York is really fast. Everyone in LA was kind of making music in their back houses, and it seems really peaceful and quiet, but people are also hustling, just like in a different way. So I was experiencing that, feeling like pulled in a lot of different directions, and feeling super confused about where my life was going. So this song is kind of just about that, about change. Warm weather, endless nights, anything to fill up your appetite. Faded jeans and neon lights Anything to fill up your appetite And you know The lows and the highs And you see Tonight it's now or never Don't you ever surrender All the trouble in paradise Cause I begin to know the night So don't you run, don't you run, don't you run From what you could become We love all the trouble in paradise In paradise Trouble in all the trouble in all the trouble in paradise. I'm living fast, so I, I push the gas. No need to even check the temperature. I used to sleep, but now I daydream about palm trees, and nothing could be simpler. And you know. The lows and the highs And you see Tonight it's now or never Don't you ever surrender All the trouble in paradise Last cause I'll be beginning of the night so don't you run, don't you run, don't you run from what you could become We love all the trouble in paradise In paradise All the trouble in, all the trouble in Trouble in paradise, heaven on earth, or a hell of you. It could be heaven on earth, or a hell of a view. All the trouble in paradise. Last cause I'll be getting. So don't you run, don't you run, don't you run from what you could become We love all the trouble in paradise In paradise Over the past two months, it's been kind of a wild ride. I recently was the featured singer on the new Macklemore single, Next Year. It came out recently, um, and that whole experience for me was really pivotal for Windsor as a music project. Um, before that, I'd just been releasing songs independently, recording them in my house in Echo Park in L.A., and um, then two months ago, I heard from one of my mentors. Um, I think it's really important to have someone that you look up to and that you see yourself reaching 
that level of success, whether you're a musician or a creator of any kind, like it's important to have people that you look up to, um, but that are also contemporaries. So for me, when I first came to LA, I became friends with a songwriter who had written a lot of successful songs and I looked at his lifestyle and his work ethic and tried to learn as much as I can from him. And back in February, I was singing choruses for him. And one of those choruses um, was produced by Ryan Lewis. And Ryan sent the hook over to Macklemore and Macklemore liked it enough and called me and was like, hey, we want you on the song. Like, would you, would you be interested in featuring on it? And I was just like, oh my God, yes, yes, we'll do it. So I think it's important to have people that you look up to that can also help you um, in whatever creative field you're in because not only do you learn so much from those people, but it can help you get to the next level. One of the ways that I open up is sometimes if I'm hitting a brick wall in my creative process of writing and producing my music, I'll jump into my car, turn the radio all the way up and just like scream on the highway, like going as fast as possible. And something about that physically gets me like riveted again and out of my bubble. Cause especially when you're producing music from home, you just are in your little world and you don't know what's happening outside especially in LA when it's always sunny so that's a way that I open myself up physically emotionally is I'll get in my car and just go and just like see the world for a second and look at all the people on the street and how they relate to me and that's one way that I get to that place of vulnerability so if you're a creator and you're making something and you're feeling stuck, I highly encourage you to do whatever it is. Take a walk, take a drive, go somewhere new, just anything to get out of your comfort zone. It's a great way to open up inspiration again. My biggest advice in creating something that you want to be authentic to you as a person is to go back in time, go back to your roots, look at who you are where you come from, what that scenery is, and write down like colors, sounds, memories of what that place is, because that is ultimately a part of you. So that's, that's what I do with Windsor is, I look at my hometown, my formative experiences, and I use that to, to tell stories. So I think if, if you're trying to find the vision of whatever project you're making, whatever song you're making, a film or whatever, if you want it to be authentic to you and you're telling your story, go back and look at who you are from the formative years and, and you'll find things that are unique to you that are like no one else. You can find me on Instagram at W-I-N-D-S-E-R, Windsor with an E. Um, Twitter at Windsor Music. I got an EP coming out 2022. Thank you guys.